Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to add headers and footers to your printed pages in Excel. Now if you'd like to get the workbook that you see here, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Alright, so what I've got here is a sample database of employees with ID number, last name, first name, job, email, and phone. That doesn't really matter, that's just what I'm going to use to uh, test out all of these printing options. Now there are two ways that you can add the headers and footers and I'm going to show you the um, the first way and that's going to work in previous versions of Excel. So if you have a previous version of Excel you need to get to the page setup window. To get to that window you go file page setup. So it's really easy to do if you don't have Excel 2007 you go file page setup then when you get to the page setup window it's going to look a lot like this and you're going to see a window that looks like this now what you want to do is go to the header footer tab then you can enter your header here footer here and you click the drop down menus and you've got a bunch of different options for things you can add to the header and also the footer now I'm not going to go through um, exactly how to do it through this window because it's not as intuitive as the new Excel features but if you're in a previous version of Excel this is where you will go to add your header or footer and like it says here if you need a custom header or custom footer click those buttons so it's pretty self-explanatory once you get to this page one thing I will note though is if you need the first page to be a little bit different than all the other pages you've got different first page checkbox right here that's pretty important when you're numbering pages because sometimes you don't want the number to show up on the first one Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this in Excel 2007. As you may notice, what you need to do is go to the Page Layout tab. Once you're on the Page Layout tab, right there, you're going to see a box that says Page Setup. It's basically just like the Page Setup window that we are just at, except for visual and quite a bit more intuitive once we actually go to add the headers and footers. And then the way that you want to get to the page setup window is simply click this little arrow in the bottom right hand corner, like that. However, what we want to do is go to the View tab. So let's go to the View tab. Now this is going to be pretty easy to forget, but just try to remember, go to the View tab and you want to use the, go to the Workbook Views window or box and click Page Layout. Once you do that, you'll see that the screen breaks off into the pages uh, exactly how it's going to look when it's printed, right? So this looks like a printed page. And at the top you have the header, and at the bottom you've got the footer. So this gives you a visual interface for adding headers and footers to Excel. Now all you have to do to add a header, simply click in the square. Any one of these. So it gives you three sections, right, left, right and center. When you do that you're going to see a design tab up here and this gives you all of the options that you would have seen on the page setup window except for it's all visual so it makes it so much easier because you can see everything at once. So you want to add the uh, page number simply click that it's going to add the page number right here. You want to put the number of pages over here simply click in this box and click number of pages and as you notice, as soon as I click out of the box, the value, the corresponding value shows up. So this is page one, and this is page, or this total number of pages is two. Now what you could say, you, could, you can add text, right? So total pages colon space. Total pages two. Before this one, let's say page space page one total pages two so remember the way this works is when you click one of these icons up here it's going to add the code to insert that right it's going to add this code here and you can add text before and after that and that's how you're going to make it uh, more intuitive so you can understand what it actually is right if you just have a one or a two here you're not really going to know what that is all right and one thing to notice this may uh, confuse some people a bit is when I click out you don't see the design tab anymore so you have to be active in one of these boxes to see the design tab where you can change all of this 
Now if you want to do it different than the first page, you go here, check that. Different odd and even pages right here. And you'll notice that when you click say different first page, this says header right here, but when I check the box it says first page header. So that's how you know that it's only going to be for the first page. Two other options align with page margins and scale with the document. Scaling with the document is important. Um, I probably would uncheck this just because I don't want my page numbers up here to change in size. What that means is that if you shrink this text or this data down here so you can fit more of it on one page, uh, do you want the headers to also shrink? And by shrink I mean it only decreases in size for printing. In Excel it looks exactly the same, but when it's printed it's scaled down to fit more on one page. I'll show you or I'll talk to you about that in another tutorial. But that's what scale with document option means. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory, right? You can put a sheet name, file name, file path. Uh, the one I really like is the current time. So you can um, tell everyone, everyone exactly what time it was printed. And um, you know, then you can also add a date if you'd like. And that's pretty much it for um, adding headers and footers. If you want to go to the footer really quickly, instead of having to scroll all the way down, simply click in the navigation box, go to footer. And it's going to take you right down to the footer. And you pretty much have all the same options like you did uh, in the header, right? You can put everything here down in here. Once you are done adding your headers and footers, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. If you want to view what it's going to look like regularly, you go to the print preview window. Now I'm just going to show you what happens when you go back to the normal layout first, then we'll check out the print preview window. So this is the page layout, we can see what's on the headers. But when you go back to the normal view, you'll notice you don't see any headers or footers. Don't freak out, don't get scared. This is just how it works. In the normal view, you don't see headers and footers. Only in page layout view are you going to see that. Page layout view is very helpful. And you can also edit stuff in page layout view. And you can do formulas, so I just did 1 plus 1 to show you that it works and enter text. So you can actually do uh, a lot of the worksheet functions in the page layout view as well. Well, let's go back to the normal view and then check out print preview. So I'm going to go to the office button, print, and print preview. And here we can see we've got page 1, total pages 2. I'm going to zoom out. Let's go to the next page, zoom back in, page 2, total pages 2. So that's pretty much it for how you can very easily and quickly add headers and footers in Excel 2007. Remember, if you're in a previous version of Excel, you're going to have to go to the File menu, then click Page Setup. When you do that, it's going to look like this. From there, you go to the Header and Footer tab, and you have to add everything here. Now, notice when I go here, I can see exactly what I added before. And here's what it looks like in this box right here. Page one, total pages, question mark. So this is not as easy to do as in Excel 2007, but that's how you do it in a previous version. For Excel 07, remember, you're starting at the Home tab, or if you are, what you want to do is go to the View tab. From the View tab, you then go to Workbook Views and click Page Layout. From there, just hover over the top of the document and click one of the boxes, and you add your header, and then you click Go to Footer, and you add your footer. So that's pretty much it for how you can add headers and footers in Excel. Remember, if you'd like to get this document, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.